Hi, y'all. Hi, Hazel. See, she knows I've got the camera on and she takes off. I wanted to show y'all my new sewing machine that my son is giving me. Now, he used to hem, all his pants had to be hemmed as jeans and stuff like that. So, he just bought a sewing machine to do it with. Well, this one was not strong enough to go through denim. So, he got a larger, stronger sewing machine. Now, I don't know what he did with that one, but this one was still here. And so, now it belongs to mom. This is going to come in really handy, y'all. The other thing that I am taking home with me is this bench. Now, Aaron used to own a furniture making shop. I don't know what y'all would call that. But anyway, he and his partner made furniture. And I used to have a bunch of pictures of pieces that he did. But this big bench, and yes, it is as heavy and sturdy as it looks, is one of the things that he made. So I'm taking it home. I think I'm going to weatherproof it and put it underneath the front window to put my pots of plants on. It's gorgeous, but I will make sure to seal it really well. And he knows what I'm going to do with it. Now, this is a piece that a lady had commissioned him to do. And he made this himself. And if you can't guess what it is, it is a baby cradle. Now, you can see how all the pieces fit together. There's no screws, no nuts, no bolts. He did all of this by hand. And all of those pieces that are weaved in together and curved to create this baby cradle took him forever. He said he commissioned it for $500, but he should have charged her a lot more based on just the time it took him to do it. So, you can see, Aaron, um, he really can do good work. But he sold his part of the business and moved from Montana to Washington. And I was so glad to have him come and be part of our family for a couple of years, living with myself, my sixth husband, and Sam. It truly was one of the favorite times of my life to have both of my boys under the same roof a good husband, and a wonderful home. I loved it so much. Except I did not have Miss Hazel. Hi. What? What are you whining for? She wants some people food. I just ate a bagel and two eggs. She didn't get to have any. You want me to go sit down, lay down in the living room so you can snug up in your bed? Okay. Well, that's it for this one, y'all. Now, Joe sent me some instructions to the seafood place that we're going to eat lunch at tomorrow. And I can't remember the name of it, but I will share it with you later. I love y'all. Please do something fun today. <laughs> She had a bath with her shampoo last night, and she was not loving it. She needs to get groomed so bad. What? What? She doesn't have to go potty, y'all. She just came in. Talk to y'all later. Bye now.